really like get them back on track and make them feel like worthy and empowered like we want to support them to feel empowered you can see see where the name come from there yeah, yeah, so yeah. like to make choices about their own life and to just yeah to just feel like they're not their illness that they've got this label but it doesn't define them i love that you said that actually right labeling is a big big thing yeah. and i always talk about this as well because like you know if you are if, if you are somebody who is, um, let, let's say, like you know, for, for example, you're somebody who's committed a crime, mm. you're seen as a criminal, criminal. a lot of the time. Mm. You're a criminal um, or a prisoner or whatever it is, do you know what I mean? So if you do end up going to prison for it, you're seen as a prisoner, and that is a label in itself. Yeah. That is one of the most difficult things to overcome, because I think people will, they, they, they identify with that then. So if they're saying, I'm, I'm a criminal, for example, you know, you identify with what those, the pers- regular person, uh, personality traits or what you believe to be a criminal almost, you start to become yeah. that person. And I think that's why reoffending is a big thing. Yeah. You know, whereas if you, like you said, what you're doing with there is you're giving them connection. That's another point you mentioned about family. Yeah. You know, connection is one of the key reasons that I, in my opinion, that why people are kind of depressed or anxious and things like that. Not all the cases, but you know, a lot of the time it is a lack of connection. So either it's a lack of connection to perhaps you know, parents yeah. or, or just friends and family and whatever, like, or, you know, if it's, I don't know, if it's trust issues, uh, you know, you, you can't trust other people, you know, you're literally pulling yourself back from them. And then again, it's a connection issue. So I think that it does account for a lot of stuff. There's a book I've got in the house, I don't know if you've read it, Lost Connections by Johan Hari. Oh no, I'll have to look it up. Yeah, I haven't read it myself, but I've, uh, you know, I've like read a lot of his stuff. He's done a TED Talks on there as well. And uh, my friend Sarah Maxwell, she's big on on the, you know, the same sort of stuff that i am and she's read that book and she can't you know she, she loved it you know it was um very interesting but he's talking about the, why connections uh or lack of connections can be a kind of a leading cause in in depression oh absolutely like we're not we're not designed to live on our own like we are still cavemen yeah, we have yeah, nicer yeah. shoes and better tech like that it we're just cave people mm. like our brain, all these hundreds, of, I'm not really good at history, all these hundreds <laughs> of millions and thousands of, hundred, yeah, of years <laughs> where we've evolved, like our physiology hasn't evolved, our, our brain hasn't yeah. changed, we're not designed to live in this world mm. of 24 hour news, of constant, constant cortisol and adrenaline and fight and flight, like that, that response was designed for running away from tigers. Not yeah. for scrolling on Facebook. And, and dopamine as well. The dopamine just hits we get constant, constantly from the notifications. Oh, like, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. oh, have you watched that social... I watched oh, it. I wa- you know what? I watched, I watched a small part I of it. I turned it off. Yeah, I watched a small part of it. I know somebody, actually, one of the boys, Sam. Uh, he's just, literally today, he's just put a post up saying, uh, if you want to get in touch with me... And delete my Facebook. Yeah, he's oh, deleting his mate. Facebook, his Instagram, everything. He's literally just leaving WhatsApp left for a month or something. Me and my other half talks. watched it. And he was like... See, see, I've been telling you, because like, I wrote my dissertation on why social media was bad for you. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's false connection. So we need real human connection. We need mm. this. We need proper conversations, a proper support network. So I deleted all my social media when I had my, and I'm going to say spectacular breakdown. Like, mm. it was go hard or go home. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? Like... Girl didn't wash your face for about four months. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I was really ill. So I deleted everything because I just wanted the world to swarm me up. I was ashamed of myself. How could I let this happen? La, 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 la. All this nonsense we tell ourselves. So I deleted it then. Went to uni. Opened another business. So I've got an aesthetic clinic where we do, like, Botox fillers. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Opened it and went, oh, wait, I'm going to customers. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, I need to... Oh, okay, I need Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> to get customers and then ironically I put up a full post on Facebook saying I'm back in business um I want to make some like-minded connections because I want to go for a coffee mm. and it went a bit I went viral in Swansea and that's where Girl Boss Club which mm. is like a, a female network I run come from so we meet here yeah, <laughs> monthly yeah, yeah. um not now but we meet monthly and it's like a massive following so like I use social media as a tool mm. to make connections. Like I'm constantly on there, but I, I'm trying to be mindful to produce content mm. instead of consuming content. Yeah, yeah. And it is the main reason, or probably the only reason, me and my partner clash. Mm. Get off your phone, Emily. Yeah. Get off your phone. 
Why do you feel the need to take a picture of that? Why do you feel the need to share that? Mm. And it's so inflammatory, and we are not designed to cope with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I should probably read my own dissertation again and just delete it all. <laughs> but no, we watched that the other night, and he was like, oh my God, it's like I told you. Like, it's not an accident mm. that it's addictive, it's on purpose. Mm. And it's because people are making so much money off the adverts and stuff. So you have to be super mindful that you're not um, trading real life connection mm. for false, look how many likes, followers, shares, messages I've got. Do you know what, I, li I like you said that actually, I'm not, you're not trading real time or real connections for- Something that's not tangible. Superficial, artificial, you know, It's ego driven, it's, it's yeah. a vanity metric, isn't it? Yeah. And it's so easy to get sucked into. Have you seen what they're on about doing now? I don't know if this has been implemented, but they were talking about Instagram, what was it? I think they're they're gonna put a part a thing on a post. So if a post is edited, it's gonna say it's edited. Mm. You know, I think they were talking about that. What like the filter? Yes. Is it? Yeah, yeah. That's it. So yeah, if someone's yeah. putting a filter on it, or even if they take a photo and edit it before they put it on Instagram. Oh, sure. Yeah, they'd use artificial intelligence, I think, to wow. to to know you know if that photo is edited based on the contrast yeah. and blah blah blah. Yeah. Uh, and it would tell people then because and I think that I do. You know, I think it's a really good idea as it happens because. It's, it might take a bit, it'll take a hit on the ego of the people who are posting the edited photos. So it's a bit of a dangerous game there, but I do think it will allow people who already, you know, you know people who have seen photos of like, you know, he or she on Instagram, you know, they got the abs, they got all this and that or whatever. Like you look at it and you go, that's, that's edited. But I think yeah. when it says, it says it's edited on it yeah. you know, already, I think it does allow you to realize a little bit more, especially the younger generation, that that is not what everybody looks no, like. No, um, you're comparing yourself to something that yeah. is not real. Yeah, J James Smith talks about it. You know, have you, have you come across James Smith at all? No, I haven't heard Jim, of him. James Smith PT, right? He's, he's from England. But he's oh, I think I've seen it. And he does the um, real life versus Insta, is it? Is it them ones? No, no, he's... Uh, he, he's so he, he was originally uh, like a personal trainer who was like uh, pretty much his, his thing is calorie deficit yeah, so yeah, he yeah. just slags every other diet off and he just says calorie deficit and what but he's, Ugh, uh, my trainer says that I'm like fix me she's like calorie <laughs> deficit exercise I'm like no no <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> quick <laughs> <laughs> but he's literally like, he's he's very straight talking as well which is yeah what I, I have that. seen his post I have seen his post and yeah. we need more of that because that mm. is tr that's true mm. like and you the filters the highlights real the yeah. you know if you're sitting in your house miserable <laughs> and you're using this to, to numb or to yeah. distract or you know to just mindlessly scroll because it is mindless and i lose mm. i lose hours oh god yeah like, hours so many hours you know literally so many hours a week i don't even I, I you just play. it's a rabbit hole you're yeah. there and you're scrolling but you're comparing yourself to something that doesn't exist mm. and, and you're sitting there in your deepest, darkest, painful moment looking at someone's, oh my God, me and, me and all my friends mm. or me and I'm having the best time ever. But like until, until you know that that's not true and they're only showing you what you want to see and you're seeing the worst part in yourself, you're comparing your darkness to someone else's highlights yeah. and a real eye-opener for me. So a massive um pinch point of mine is not having any friends mm. massive trigger for me like i was really badly bullied in school and it's a huge trigger mm. um and it's something i spent a lot of time and money and hours working on and i'm like healed <laughs> like i would say like i can i can look at it objectively now yeah, whereas yeah. i used to get embroiled in it before so like i said a lot of coaching counseling around it and a lot of healing around it and a lot of doing and just really worked hard okay. to like not be upset like that's not true consumed by yeah, it consumed, yeah consumed consumed by the idea of it yeah, yeah consumed so like i would always look at like big groups of girls that have gone right through school together or like on a night out like hashtag cocktails with my girls and i would just feel oh in my belly like jealousy like i mm. wish i had that got no like backstory with my friends mm. but now i realize someone you've met a year ago or However, you know, someone who's been named like a small amount of time can have better intentions for you and can yeah. be better for you than someone you've known all your life. But my biggest, like, 
and like look moments there's all these girls on a night out and i was just watching them i was like oh they look nice mm -hmm. like i like your top whatever and then i was talking and i looked again and they were like um just filming their entire night to yeah. put on like instagram and then like blah 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 like this and doing all the selfies and filming around the table and then back to nothing mm -hmm. so it was like cameras like oh we're having the best time ever cameras away back to no chat no chat nothing yeah, yeah. and then one of the girls went to the toilet and all her friends were like oh my god i can't believe what she's wearing oh my god blah blah blah, blah, blah. like really like slagging her off yeah yeah and i was just like if i just seen that mm -hmm. like on my feet on my feed on sunday morning like cocktails with the girlies I'd, seen... I'd have been like oh i wish i had a big group of girlfriends to go out like that and like oh they must have had the best night because yeah. i was witnessing it i was thinking i'm comparing what i what i perceive to not have mm. with something that's fake mm. and then when i look at the the actual people that i've got in my life mm. that will do anything for me and that are amazing friends like we were homeless in a pandemic yeah. and my friend went yeah come live with us yeah like that like yeah. that yeah i love that that those are the type of people you need around you like not 100%. even a hesitation we were like oh my god what are we gonna do so we sold our house mm. Um, that we had to get out, we'd signed the contract, blah, 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 and then they didn't release our mortgage, mm. and they said, oh, a week, two weeks, and then we went into lockdown, so I was like, oh, we'll have to get, like, an Airbnb for, like, two weeks, my friend was just like, my friend Becky, who I met a girl boss, mm. known her, like, a year, was just like, yeah, move in with us, for two weeks, yeah. we stayed there for 21 weeks, and they did not oh, blink, God. they did yeah. not blink an eye, mm. they were like, welcome in, like, couldn't have been better friends, yeah, and yeah. I just think, you haven't got to be going on these elaborate at nights out. You haven't got, you know, friends that have got your back, like in the re in the real world. Mm. Like, you know, we're really close with like my cousins and his wife and like all the time, they're like, everything okay, how's the business going? Like genuinely want to know mm. and want to support us and want to help us. And you just think that is worth more than a hundred and you know what this is like, right. that, right. that's essentially we, we, you know, what, I'm, I'm guessing why you set a girl boss club to a certain extent isn't it do you know what I mean actually getting people together Gowns and meeting together. new people that are like are like minded it's just exactly the mm. same reason with me and ideas and beers you know find we, your we, tribe yeah 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 find your tribe and if if you're looking around and all you see is like veneers mm. of people and you just can't have anything but like a super like a superficial conversation with them mm. like put it out there that mm. you want to make new friends and i think there's such a big stigma around going does anyone want to be my friend yeah, as yeah. an adult like when i was a kid i'd walk up to people in the park like do you want to play with me <laughs> yeah. would, you, would you not yeah, yeah do you want to yeah. play football like yeah, do you know what? i was I, I like like you as well i was like kind of bullied when i was in school but i yeah. was like i would say i was i'm a lot more sociable now than i was you know as a kid you know i uh I was the kind of person who I think I probably I was a bit of a sheep when I was younger. So I'd kind of, I you know I what I didn't have an identity of my own almost. I feel I think I just kind of followed, followed what other people were doing safe, almost man. playing safe. It safe, safe. Yeah, and as I've got older, like you know my my friends can be a testament to this. You know, they have seen me go from doing all of the kind of the, like lad stuff you do and whatever blah blah blah, and then all of a sudden I. You know, randomly I went off and set up a business like nobody in my family has ever set up a business. Yeah. Nobody, none of yeah. my friends had at that point. You know, at like very young age, and that was the kind of the start of the journey. Then of my own journey, where I'm going off on my own, doing other stuff. And in the recent years, like I've in recent months as well, especially, I don't care about what people think of me anymore. Yeah. Whereas that used to be a big good issue. place to be. It's yeah. a good place to be. Um, I would say from being bullied so I was bullied um quite badly in school I was really ill so I was in a wheelchair when I was in school for mm -hmm. the last year and then I left so I, I did year seven year eight ill in year nine went a bit and then my parents were like that's enough we're taking it mm -hmm. um so mine has always been driven from a place of please like me yeah, please yeah. like me mm -hmm. <laughs> please be my friend um but now I'm more comfortable in like I'm myself like I accept myself and mm -hmm. I like myself um and I'm not overly worried about being like, like, I think when you think, you know yourself, like I've got a nice heart, I've got good values, whatever, mm. like, this is what I think, this is what I believe, this is the life I wanna live. Like, if that's in tune with you, excellent. Like, I'm not trying to drag you down, mm. you're not trying to drag me down, fine. 
but I think actively seeking out people who encourage you and want to see you do well and clap when you win and like what encourage you to level up. Mm. So like I look around rooms that I'm in sometimes and I'm like, yeah. who let me in you? Because <laughs> like, but like you should be the you shouldn't be the cleverest person in all the. I was just gonna say about that. Yeah. In the room, you should mm. always be surrounded by people who you look Force at and you think. To level up. Yeah, I want to be more like you. I mm. want to. I want to think like that. Oh, I. I think I deserve that mm. in my life. And I think if you get that mindset, it's like your moral duty to pass that on to other people who don't feel like that. Then and yeah. encourage other people. And I also think I do think it's important, right? So like to put yourself in a room, like you said, where it's forcing you to level up. Uh, but not at the expense of your own kind of like mental health and stuff like that. So if it's if it's something if you feel inferior or if you're being made to feel inferior, they should make you feel you, yes. you're in the wrong room. Then that's it. Yeah, yeah, you should yeah, be yeah. Made to feel yeah, inferior. Yeah. You should be empowered and you know to to be. Yes, I'm supported. Yeah, 